Today, I'm gonna to satisfy your chocolate craving in less than five minutes. You ever get in a situation where you say, oh man, I'd love to have some chocolate, but you don't wanna make a whole cake or a bunch of brownies, and then they're sitting around and you end up eating them all? At least that's what happens to me. So today, we're gonna to make an individual serving in a mug that you can put together in just a split second and enjoy a nice decadent dessert and my version is a little bit on the healthier side. I'm using better sugars and I'm using almond flour to keep the carbs low, but the flavor is there. It's chocolatey, it's fudgy, it's delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, so let's start off here with chef joke number one. What do you call a sheep covered in chocolate? A candy bar. So all we have to use here is a mug. We need one mug that we're gonna cook this in. And I'm gonna start off by mixing my dry ingredients into my cup. Now I want you to check out the description. That's where you're gonna find the written recipe along with some variations, different ingredients that you can use that you might have and maybe you don't have uh, coconut sugar. Well, you could use honey or you could use maple syrup. All right, so I'm gonna place six tablespoons of almond flour into the cup. Next, we're adding some coconut sugar. That'll be one tablespoon plus two teaspoons. And you can also sub in, uh, if you don't wanna use coconut sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can use regular white sugar. My next ingredient is Goutard unsweetened cocoa powder. We're gonna add one tablespoon and one teaspoon of this. You should be able to find this in any grocery store. Next, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now take a spoon and stir the dry ingredients until they're well combined. You know it's well mixed when it's completely brown. And make sure to stir way down into the crevice of the mug so that you get all the flour and everything mixed in. Now we're ready to add the wet ingredients. First up is our milk. We're gonna be using three tablespoons here and you can use any milk alternative that you like. Next, we're gonna add some vanilla extract, and that's gonna help bring out some sweetness in our cake. And we're gonna drop in just a quarter of a teaspoon. And then we'll take our spoon and give it a nice mix. Now you wanna make sure all your dry ingredients get moistened, so get in there and stir it up well. Once you're sure it's all mixed, now it's time for those delicious chocolate chips. I measured out about a tablespoon of chocolate chips, but go ahead and add a few more. I did. Give that a little stir to mix them into the batter, and then add a few more on top. This gives the cake a nice chocolatey, fudgy flavor and texture. So now we want to spruce up our mug a little bit, right? So it looks a little more presentable. So take a damp paper towel and just wipe the edges. Get some of that chocolate off. All right, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. A man says to a chocolate maker, are you a magician? No, says the chocolate maker, but I do have a couple of twicks up my sleeve. <laughs> so we're gonna pop this in the microwave for probably no more than one minute and 20 seconds on high. Because microwaves vary, it, I would start with 30 seconds and then add 20 seconds and then maybe 15 until you just get the batter cooked where it's not runny. Here you can see the center is not quite cooked, it's still runny, so it's gonna go back in the microwave for another 15 seconds until I get it right. After the initial 30 seconds, it's best to do increments of say 20 seconds, maybe 15, just so you don't overcook it. Now this is what you want it to look like. Doesn't that make you just wanna take a bite? I'm digging in. That has such a nice chocolatey, fudgy flavor. You are gonna love this. Mm. If you like chocolate recipes, you are gonna love my chocolate pudding fluff with brownies. It is so delicious, it's creamy, it's decadent, full of chocolate flavor. It's a must try. Click the link here on the screen and it'll take you right to it. Thank you so much for watching today. I do appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Leave me a comment and smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.